right. Um, Mako Van and everyone, it is uh, April 22nd, 2023. Welcome back to another uh, a special a 1000 subscriber special let's play of Morrowind. <clears throat> so, last time I made it to Sal Matul. Um, and, uh, you know, Cassis gave me the, 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 the task to uh, get in good with the Urshalaku camp and to, you know, to prove myself as a uh, Nereverine. So, um, uh, this is the person I need to talk to. I got information also those past couple uh, episodes about how to go about doing this, like getting a, uh, a gift and stuff like that. Um, okay, so, I don't think so let's go ahead and do it. I have my uh, past, Pabst Blue Ribbon. to get in here leave at once or I will kill you myself um, a thoughtful gift maybe hold on uh, wait Kes has promoted me right Gave me the Emperor's secret orders to. Oh! I said I was gonna read that and I did not, so I should do that. Emperor thinks the Nerever, the Neverine prophecies are genuine and that I may be the Nereverine. I'm being sent to the Urshalaku camp to speak with heads of Nereverine cult Salmatul and Nabani Masai. I'll tell them my story, tell them to test me against the Nereverine prophecies, then report back. Alright, so. <clears throat> okay, um, excuse me, I'm sorry, wrong tent. Okay, this is good enough place as any to read that package. I hope I didn't trash it or anything, because that's the thing about this game. Uh, good and bad, but I suppose more good than bad is that you can accidentally break your game. It doesn't stop you from killing a vital uh, NPCs or uh, getting rid of um, you know essential or essential NPCs or essential um, items uh, would be under miscellaneous Directions to Cassis Cassades. Mission to Vivek from Cassis. Is this it? The following notes are prepared by Cassis Cassades to summarize your mission in Vivek. In Vivek, look for the three persons and get them to tell you what they know. Okay, this I know already. This is not it, I don't think. No. Zenzabani's notes. Holy crap, did I get rid of it somehow? And I didn't know it? Oh, wait. No, that's all tied. Gave me the Emperor's secret orders. And gave me the Emperor. No, he just gave it to me, so I should still have them. Let me check this. Oh, I think I just saw it. No, directions too. Unless... No, I don't think that's... It's so small, you know. I... I 
a spell. All of these are spells here. Decoded package. How can I? What's that? Spymaster Cassius Cassage, Knight Errant of the Imperial Order of Blades, Director of Imperial Intelligence in Vardenfell District, Eastern Provinces. I have the honor to acquaint you with His Majesty's wishes concerning Felagar, an individual of no rank or consequence. Felagar has been released from prison by His Majesty's authority, sent to you with his missive. Felagar is to be entered as a novice in the Imperial Imperial Order of the Blades, and is to serve under your absolute authority, as you shall see fit, except in so far as His Majesty's particular wishes are concerned. Mm -hmm. His Majesty's particular wishes are as follows. A local superstition holds that an orphan and outcast, a youth born of a certain day to uncertain parents, shall unite all the tribes of the Dunmer, drive out the invaders of Morrowind, well, and shall re-establish the ancient laws and customs of the Dark Elven Nations, the Dunmer. Uh, this orphan and outcast is called the Legend of the Nereverine, and is supposed to be the reincarnation of the long-dead Dunmer General and First Counselor, Lord Indorel Nerevar. Mm. Heligar has the appearance, of the appearance, but of meeting the conditions of this local superstition. Therefore, it is His Majesty's desire that Felagar shall, insofar as is possible, satisfy the conditions of this ancient prophecy and shall become the Nereverine. So I was literally pick it, picked, chosen because of my, my, my looks, my, my looks, right? Though this prophecy is indeed only an ancient locale superstition, his Majesty has taken counsel on this matter with his most expert informants and confidants, confid confidants, right? And His Majesty is persuaded that the prophecy is genuine and significant, either in its, in its entirety or its several parts, or its or in its several parts. And he earnestly demands you treat this matter with the utmost seriousness. Your know, confidant, right? Uh, how's it go? Because I'm your friend, your father, and confidant. I don't know what you heard about me. But if a bitch can't get a dollar out of me. I had to go. But if, if a bitch can't. But if a, if a bitch can't get a dollar out of me. No Cadillac no, No Cadillac no. Jones, you can't see. That I'm a mother for. Mother MP, I am P, right? Right. Anyways, it's been such a long time. I don't know what you heard about me. Yeah. But if a bitch can't get a dollar out of me, no Cadillacs, no, oh, you can't. Hmm. That I'm a mother can P-I-M-P. <laughs> Certain aspects of this ancient superstition are described at the end of this document, and further materials will be forthcoming by courier at the earliest occasion. It will, of course, be necessary that you acquaint yourself better with the details of this ancient superstition from your local sources. Since this matter intimately concerns Felagar, it is expected that you will employ him to gather information on the subject. His Majesty has taken a great personal interest in the legends and prophecies of the Nerverine and eagerly awaits reports your reports. Your reports. <clears throat> I have to honor to be, sir, your most humble and obedient servant. Glabrio Bellianus, a personal secretary to the emperor. So now we know. So now, Bell, Biv, Devo, right? Now you know. So maybe I'll go see uh, um, uh, the other person, Nabani Masse. Maybe this person is more willing to speak to me, and uh, I can get information as to what gift I should give uh, Sol Matul, right? No, I don't so. uh, will this person tell me? Oh, thoughtful gift. Do you want to offer me a gift, Outlander? Then bring me a Kwama egg, for I am hungry. Oh, no, not you, but... Um, 
Was it her? Nabani Masai, yeah. And it was also going by memory. I vaguely remember certain things too, so. But this is around the extent of, you know, maybe a little bit past this, where I got up to in the main story, uh, you know, back in the day. You are in the wrong place, Outlander. Leave now. Well, hold on here. Um, I'm here about the Nereverine prophecies. This is not a matter for idle talk with strangers. Why should I trust you, Outlander? Well, yeah, see. I am Musa. Yeah, did I... Didn't I rescue that person? The Ahamusa of the Grazelands are mild and peace-loving. Maybe not. Okay, the wise woman of the Ahamusa, Sinamasu Marpel, is also there. Ashkan. Okay. I'm here to arrange a meeting. Ah, uh, the Urshalaku will never meet with an Argonian sorcerer. I'm not Argonian. Will never meet with an Argonian sorcerer? I'm not Argonian. Look at me. I'm a Breton. But my journal updated. Why? Told me that she would never meet with an Argonian sorcerer. Was that just a little bit of information she wanted to give me? Okay. Would you say you are deaf or stupid or rude? How do you explain? I have told you. You are not. You are in the wrong place told you to leave but you're still here Nerevera. in ancient days the deep l see she'll you'll tell me about the Nerevera, but you were hesitant to tell me about the Nereverine prophecies and a great host of outlanders from the west came stealing the land of the dunmer in what time or in that time Nerevera nerevar was the great khan and war leader of the house people but he honored the ancient spirits and the tribal law became as one of us so when Nerever I pledged upon his great ring of the ancestors, one clan under moon and star, to honor the ways of the spirits and rights of the land, all the tribes joined the house people fighting a great battle at Red Mountain. Oh, there's more. Okay. The many Dunmer tribesmen and housemen died at Red Mountain. The Joemer were defeated and their evil magic got destroyed and the outlanders driven from their land. But after this great victory, the power-hungry Khans of the great houses slew Nereverar in secret, set themselves up as gods, forgot Nereverar's promises to the tribes. But Nereverar will come again, cast down the false gods, and by the power of his ring will make good promises, honor the spirits, and drive the outsiders from the land. You know, I'm just thinking, if I pick thoughtful gifts, she might request that I get her something. So I'm thinking maybe I should just go directly to Salma Tool and um, ask what gift she wants. So ask her directly. This one. Uh, save your breath. You do not have many more left to spend. Oh, no. Wow. Oh, well, I think she asked me to leave, so I think it was good form that I left, but I should not have returned. I think that's what it was, right? I think that's what it was. Okay, so it looks as if I have to deal with this. Um, Nabani. Okay, perhaps I can get you something. Do you want to offer me a gift? Good. I am not proud like 
I like gold. This is a custom you outlanders call a bribe, yes? It is. I shall offer you... 100. Very well, Felagar. I'll see what can be done. Would he like me enough now to tell me about this? Okay. Oh, no. No, no. I went to that one. Okay, okay. Now. What does an outlander have to say to an Urshalaku of the Nerverine prophecy? Say I fulfilled the Nerverine prophecies and wish to speak to Salmatul and the Bani Masai. Say I know little and I'm curious. Well, I think thou can look upon this visage and tell that I am that which the prophecy foretells to be the, Never the Nereverine. What say you? I do not believe what I am hearing. You think you are the Nereverine and you wish to speak to Salma Tool and the Bani Masai? That would be you. Uh, you do not look like the Nereverine. No, do I not? But you do not speak like a fool or a madman. This is a puzzle, I tell you. Go speak with uh, Zabamund in his yurt. He is a Galakan, Salmatul's champion. He will decide what is right. If Zabamund gives you permission, then you may enter the Ashkan's yurt and speak with Salmatul. Okay. So I think I saw that tent. Mikovanin. I think really that's the greeting. I'm not sure what they say when they uh, when they part ways, but and that's um, Lord of the Rings reference. Okay, was it? Okay, here it is. Mikovanin. Speak with respect and I will listen. Uh, first of all, how does a hundred gold sound to you? Okay, very good. Uh, um, I'm here because I believe myself to be, because I know myself to be the Nereverine. The, Never, the Nereverine prophecies are not for outlanders. Why should Salma Tool and Nabani Masay speak to you about these things? Who are you, and why do, and who are you that we should trust you? Offer to fight a duel to the death for the right to speak to Salma Tool. I love these choices. You know, this is truly an RPG. I mean, it just seems like lately, you know, games seem to be lacking in you know a, a robust selection of, of choices to pick. You know roads to take one that comes close though i guess pretty much does it is that new um baldur's gate 3 you know but it's still of course in early access i played very little of it a good amount but still very little i mean i never seem to get past that beginning part but that's because every time it updates and i don't play it very often because of the fact it is um you know still in early access um usually because i i don't get back to it right away you know by the time i get back to it there's an update and um i have to start over from the beginning uh boast of my worthy deeds and demand the right to speak to salma tool tell all i have learned of the sixth house and the nereverine and ask humbly to speak salma tool offer to pay a tribute of 200 gold to speak with salma tool uh, I'm trying to re remember what were some of the customs and some of the things that these people respect. I know, apparently, um, what is her name? Ah, Nabani. Uh, she just told me she respects gold, but Salma Tool. I think it was politeness that that uh, they respected. Ah, the Nereverian prophecies are not for outlanders. Why should Salmatul 
All of that may be true, and I'm sure you think it is very important, but it has nothing to do with us. At least, not the way you tell it. I'm sorry, but I have... But I will not let you bother Salma Tool or Narbani with all this. Boast of my worthy deeds and demand the right. Okay. Um, but see, if I boast, I don't think they'll really respect that. Uh, you know, someone can boast a bunch of things, but without evidence. They just have your word to go by that, you know, and that may not be enough. You know, I will come off as a braggart, possibly even a liar in their eyes, right? Offer to fight, to fight a duel to the death? What if I pay tribute? Ah, yes, a gift of 200 gold coins. That is an earnest proof of your... And really, I think I gave you another 100, so that was like a total of 300. That is an earnest proof of your respect. <clears throat> Actually, he's a Dunmar, so I should... Uh, yes, I believe you should speak to our Ashkan. Perhaps he will be angry with me, but I think I can bear that. Go to the Ashkan's yurt and speak with Salma Tool. Ask him your questions and then tell him I have sent you. Excuse me, sorry. <clears throat> All right, all right. So, let's go ahead and do it. Farewell to thee. I have persuaded Zab Zabamand that I must speak to Salma Tool. Now I must go to the Ashkan's yurt to tell Salma Tool that Zabamand sent me. Okay. Tell him Felagar sent you. Right. Okay. Um, here we go. No, I don't think so. Uh, Yes, Felagar, you wish to speak to me about the Nereverian prophecies? Go ahead, I am very curious. See, now she'll speak to me. He'll speak to me. You think you fulfilled the Nereverian prophecies. You wish to be tested to see if you are Nereverian. No outlander may join the Nereverian cult. If you are a clan friend, an adopted member of the Ashlander tribes, then perhaps I have an initiation rite in mind. You pass... I will adopt you as a clan's friend of the Ashlanders, and then I will submit you to Zd Nabani Masay, a wise woman who is skilled in oracles and mysteries, and I will test you against the prophecies. Okay, so what is this initiation right? To be adopted into the tribe, you must undergo a harrowing. In a harrowing, I remember this, you will be judged by this. And that's also, I believe, a... I don't know if there's really relation to it, but an ESO uh, event in one of the, the expansions. You will be judged by the spirits and ancestors to see if you are worthy. Go to the Urshulaku burial caverns. I remember this. Fetch me Sol Salapul's bone biter bow. Sol Salapul was my father, and his spirit guards this, his bone mold longbow deep in the burial caverns. Return to me with this bow, and I will adopt you into the Ashlander tribe as clan's friend. Okay. Where is this burial ca caverns? Lie to the south, southeast of the camp. Okay. A north-facing door in a little hill hallway, or halfway, between us and the slopes of Red Mountain. Go north from the camp to the water, then turn east. At a rock carn on the beach, turn and head straight south until you find the door. Spirits of our ancestors guard the caverns. They will attack and will kill you if they can. Force your way past them or evade them. Get the bow, okay. Uh, so, south, southeast, I got it. Um this. I shall call it Fetch the Bow. Urshalaku Burial Caverns. Lie to the south, southeast. So somewhere around there. No, I don't think so.
halfway between the camp and the slopes of Red Mountain. Camp. And the slopes. So we got really it is Red Mountain, right? So like I may have to contend with that creature over there, so let me put up a shield or his dragon. Dragon skin is better. Okay, so first thing I will do mm. That doesn't Oh, that's a um That's not a guar, but I forgot that creature what you call it, but Yeah, I I've seen it before. Uh Kagatu or something like that. Kogatu or something. Why do I have a zero chance to summon a bone walker? Hmm. And zero chance to... Oh, not enough magicka. That's what it is. Okay. Here we go, here we go. Okay, good, good. Oh, not a cow oh, cat. It almost looks like so it's an allet. Okay. Cow oh, cat is like a, a mount you get in here, so. Okay. Let's delete that. That is a guar. There's a carn stone over there. Oh. Usually the carn stones are markers to to somewhere, you know, to some kind of landmark. There's a cornstone. But the thing is, is it going to lead me, or is it a cornstone meant to lead me to Margan? I think that is more, more plausible that that's what it's for, and not leading me to that burial uh, cavern. Mud crab is it? Nope. Now that one might be a kogatu. Or it could be another outlet, but go north from the camp. And the slopes are go north from the camp to the water, then east. First, you tell me to go south, southeast of the camp, a north facing door in a little hill halfway between us and the slopes of Red Mountain. Go north from the camp to the water, then turn east at a rock 
Karn on the beach. Turn and head straight south until you find the door. Spirits. Okay. Oh, God. I wish I had seen that. Okay, that, that's fine. So I'm thinking it's more of like somewhere there, but... Go north from the camp to the water, then east at a rock carn on the beach, right? Okay, okay. worm So there is the Urshalaku, right? Mm. Kakatu, yeah, see? I knew that was a Kakatu. There's a Nyx Hound over there. Oh, see, okay. It's not, for me in any case, it's not very intuitive with uh, controls, but. Not natural for me, you know, to navigate this. But also at the same time could also be because, um, you know, I, I have to get used to it again. Wow, that really was a cheap restore um, Magicka. Very pathetic. Thank you. 
Got to. I'm not doing so bad. It's really good. Okay, I will actually rest. Resting here is illegal. Really? Slaughterfish. Okay. Follow this till I come to a st uh, stone carn. I think is what it said. A rock carn. There's a rock carn right there. And then, then head. Okay. See, look at this. You know, you follow the directions. And you will get there. Uh, turn and head it straight south until you find the door. Yeah. Okay, yeah. I had a feeling I would have to fight this thing. Again, you know, I keep pushing like F thinking it's going to open up the thing for me to cast spells. Oh, you know, because in Fallout 76, right, you push F um, and it brings up the wheel for me to check uh, what, yeah, that's why. Okay, well, okay, good. Oh, a storm. Okay. No, I, I should do that to get my conjuration, you know, skill up. I think by using enchantments it doesn't get the that school of magic uh, up. feel like the storm is maybe slowing down my my running I don't know There it is. Nubster, is that you? Okay, hold on, hold on. You know what? Yeah, this is actually an excellent place to end it. I'm here. I'm almost sure of it. I will end it and um, 
pick this up in the next episode, which I think I'll... This is not the place. Hmm. At the rock con on the beach. Straight until you find it. Turn and head it straight south till you find the door. Is it actually called Urshulaku Burial Chamber? not my, my brother. I thought I heard him. Okay, okay. I think... I will head back to that stone carn and try again. Okay, there's the scrib. Great. Great. Oh no. it for today. I think, folks, I am so screwed, but okay. Oh, why did I even do, I didn't mean to do that. I meant to. It was a fatigue one. thought I was going to perish, but okay, there is the stone the rock uh, the rock carn it says to head directly south right so that is what I will do I will not make any turns You know, I think that is the issue with 
whether I'm using a spell like Bound Dagger um, as a spell or through an enchanted item, if my stamina is low, I'm going to fail to cast it. There was not too bad. Oh, shit. I have contracted yellow tick. Oh, wonderful. What is that going to do to me? Okay, it trains my strength. Oh, and my speed. Mm-hmm. there, that rock mound. Did they say that the door was uh, facing south or something like that? No. There. Okay. Okay. Very good. Very good. Yes. Okay, I will also do a hard save. <coughs> yeah, save it under that. All right, my friends, I hope you all enjoyed. Um, please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next episode.